Moving on to playoff volleyball. Our teams aren't in the same section anymore as Blaine is still in 5-3A and Centennial and Spring Lake Park have moved to 4-3A. But uh, boy, 5-3A, the volleyball section got even more loaded. They replaced it with <laughs> really good volleyball teams. <laughs> Uphill battle. Yep. And uh, a familiar opponent for the Bengals in the quarterfinal round, the Aussie Orioles. They've been knocked out in the playoffs by the Orioles before. They beat the Orioles 3-1 earlier this year, looking to do the same on their home floor. In the first set, Bengals' Sophie Stepanek gets blocked, and then Asio sticks it right back down. Madison Schoforster with the kill. Later on in the first, Sophie Stepanek gets it to go. She ties it up at 16 for the Bengals, but then Asio closes out strong. The big put away for Christina Bowe, she's their big hitter, 25-21. El juego numero dos. That's game number two in Espanol. Jeez. This one was all Asio. The big block for Bowe and the Orioles, 25-5 to five in game two. You don't see that very often. Game three, much closer. As the Bengals get one put down there, they go on a roll. This one goes to bonus volleyball. The Bengals end up winning game three, 27 to 25. Not going down without a fight. Bella Earn, the big kill down the line. Stuffy Stepanek, glad that her season isn't over yet. Thanks, Bella. But we go to game four. Keeping it alive, Osio playing extremely scrappy. Some great volleys in game four. The Bengals had things tied up at 12. Things were looking good, but then Asio again pulls away. The tap over on two for Ellie Hoyt and the Orioles end up pulling this one out. There's a match point. They cannot handle the serve. 25-17, Asio takes game four and they move on to the semifinals. They take down the number one seed, Why is it a Trojans. On the bottom side of the bracket, Champlin Park, the two seed, taking on number six, Maple Grove, as Delano was upset. So we've got one and five, Wyzett Osseo and Champlin Park and Maple Grove section championship is at Anoka High School on Friday the 7th. 